Hi, this is Gilly, Radio Prepper. You've seen this mast, right? Spider beam, 12 meters. And I've had this thing for years. It's scuffed up. It's all, it's been, you know, riding in the back of my truck. Actually, uh, mostly uh, it stays in my truck because I use it almost every time I go out for a radio outing. Because, well, first it's 12 meters long. It's very strong, it's just, uh, it's been very reliable and extremely useful. The thing is though, it's pretty darn heavy. Uh, I wouldn't want to take this up a mountain, you know, on a summit for SOTA activation. Uh, not with the rest of the gear I would be carrying, so uh, it's, it's pretty hefty. I mean, it's not something you want to uh, basically uh, hike with for a long time. Other than that, it's pretty darn perfect. The thing is that we don't always need a 12 meter mast. I also have a 7 meter mast. It's actually a fishing pole. The problem with fishing poles is this. It's too flexible and the end of the pole is very thin. So you think you have a 10 meter or 7 meter mast, but not really because it's just making this and you're losing uh, some height like that. And of course it's much more fragile. And that's why spider beam made a smaller mast <laughs> and this is the uh, seven meter version and it's absolutely great and this will be awesome for my uh, tri-band my qrp guys uh, tri-band antenna which is seven meter long <laughs> so perfect and just like its big brother the 12 meter mast this is not flexible and it's very strong so you can attach a pretty heavy, well, you know, I'm not talking, you know, 10 pounds, but you can attach a wire for dipole, you can attach a balloon uh, up here, or even at the end of the first element. Uh, it's, it's a pretty darn strong pole uh, compared to a fishing pole, because this is not a fishing pole. The 7 meter version is 71 centimeters long, only 1 centimeter shorter than the 10 meter version weighs uh, two pounds four ounces so a little bit more than a kilogram and uh, it, it will fit into most uh, you know uh, airplane luggage the 10 meter version is four pounds 14 ounces about 2.2 kilograms it's only about one centimeter shorter than the seven meter version when collapsed and best of all they're not that expensive <laughs> the uh, 32 footer is uh, 59 dollars the uh, 23 footer is uh, 49 dollars so the uh, deciding factor here is not going to be the price it's not going to be the length either uh, deployed or collapsed it's going to be the weight what you're willing to carry so let's take it out and see what kind of antennas we can attach to it and have some fun we are at the uh, local park uh, Vaugrenier <laughs> I come here quite often for this kind of things and uh, the spider beam 7 meter mast is attached here to my uh, table and it's actually light enough that you can attach it to a picnic table. Of course, I have the uh, Rakal VRM5080 on it, so <laughs> that certainly adds some weight. I have my uh, 3D printed uh, cap here that uh, I will put the file uh, in the uh, description. And of course, it slides right onto the mast. And it's perfect to attach any wire antenna, which I'm going to do today with the uh, QRP guys TriMad antenna. So here's what I see as a near-perfect uh, portable uh, operation uh, for an antenna anyway. Uh, the uh, QRP guys tri-band antenna, great piece of gear with the four radials and the wire that climbs up to the top of the spider beam mast. And you'll notice here that I didn't even have to use the last element. Uh, on my seven uh, meter fishing pole, I, I have to. <laughs> Lots of people at the park today, so it's very busy. It's a very nice day, very sunny. Uh, I'm going to try the uh, Minion SDR on the uh, QRP uh, tri-band antenna on 20 meters, and we'll see how it goes. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. Very well. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. Five and four, Yankee, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. Very well. Thank you very much. You are uh, five and two here, five and two in the south of France, uh, close to Antibes, Antibes on the uh, French Riviera. 
and uh, I'm at a local park uh, operating portable uh, with uh, 10 watts uh, QSL. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, did you copy my report? Okay, there was <laughs> all he wanted was a report and that's it. Merci beaucoup, vous êtes 5353 ici à Antibes, Antibes Alpes Maritimes, QSL. Merci beaucoup, excellent, excellent, merci encore. Hein. Ici, je suis en portable dans un parc opéra euh, opération que QRP, QRP 10 watts avec un mignon SDR et une antenne de 7 mètres verticale. QSL Merci beaucoup et à la prochaine fois et j'ai la chance d'y habiter. Donc ce sont des vacances continues. Allez, bonne journée et bonne chance de F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee. Merci. I'm going to try something really heavier here, much heavier at the tip of the uh, spider beam pole. My uh, Delta Loop on 6 uh, meters. And surprisingly, it's holding it up <laughs> right up there in the trees. 7 meters at the end of the of the mast. That's pretty darn good. I could not do that with my fishing pole. No way. So I think that just like its uh, big brother, the uh, 12 meter mast, the spider beam 7 meter mast, it's going to be living in my truck. <laughs> and I'm going to use it uh, quite often, I, uh, I suppose, uh, especially with the uh, QRP guys uh, tri-band antenna. It's perfect for that. Uh, you know, you can also easily uh, make an inverted V. I mean, it's just the possibilities are endless, of course. It's good quality. Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, of the spider beam mast, and I'm, I'm not hiding that. The first one I bought, I bought with my own money, the 12 meter, and I never regretted it. And uh, this 7 meter mast, uh, I think, will be uh, just the same for me. So, what else can I say? It's just a mast. It's a good one. So, have a good one. <laughs>